Looking for a five bedroom recently constructed home in Medina featuring dramatic vaulted ceilings, scenic views, open concept, finished basement with a dry bar and media room, loft space, and so much more? Well, we got you covered. Roll that intro. Hey, this is Michael Getty with Mozzie Properties, and today I'm bringing you a video walkthrough tour of 4173 Prairie View Trail here in Medina. This is of the stunning five bedroom home behind me. We're gonna go ahead and check it out, but be sure if you like what you see in the video, check out the description below where I post things like rent price, availability date, and links to that itself. Now without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So, here is the property. Beautiful curb appeal. Three car garage, we've got one stall here and two on the side. Big picturesque windows. Wait till you see the ones off the back of the home. We're over here in nice newer neighborhood in Medina. You can see a bunch of nice homes in the area. And this house here does back up to some, a little bit of prairie land and then some parks behind it, which is really convenient. So we've got nice curb appeal. Nice big front porch here. We put a little bench swing out here. All right, let's head on in. All right, so upon entering, let's go straight to the good stuff and get to the great room. As you can see, we've got this nice open space here. All ceilings, we've got 20 foot vaults, with recessed lighting, gas fireplace. You can see nice open concept as it flows down into the kitchen. Kind of cool here too, as if you take a look, here's the loft space up above. We'll go up there in a little bit, but a very grand feel. Big wall here, you can mount a TV of just about any size, easily. And really cool space. So heading over this way, we'll go do a little deep dive of the kitchen. Nice dark cabinets, like granite countertops with backsplash, stainless steel appliances, fridge, built-in microwave, we've got under cabinet lights. Nice picture cabinets here with the glass, oven range, and vent hood. Nice kitchen farm sink, and dishwasher. You've got the center aisle where you can get some bar chairs over here, entertain, views of the family room, formal dining area. And needless to say, Tons of cabinet space, so that will not be an issue for anybody. There's also a pantry off the side. I'll show that here in just a little bit, but very well. They, they utilize the space extremely well here. And it's a cloudy day today, and there's tons of natural light that's in. On a sunny day, it's even better, but. Now we do have this open office area. Works really well if you have, you know, you want to use it for a place for a quiet study or homework for kids, for adults, for whoever. But nice big built-in cabinets with the recessed lighting. And you can see it's open to the family room and also to the kitchen. Then we have our large dining room table, our dining room area. This would be more for your informal one. Uh, so you could do a table that's bigger, you can keep it like this, chandelier up above. And then check out this view. This is, this is pretty nice. So we're getting into springtime of the summer now, or not springtime of summer, springtime of the year where you get more green, get more coverage. You can see we've got the park right back there. There's a soccer field, playground, tennis courts. 
So really nice to have that so close by. And here is the dining room. And this is pretty dramatic with these pillars and columns over here. Two windows looking out of the front of the home too. Got our overhead light, you can see the nice design work in the ceiling. Love these floors. Obviously in the family room over there we have carpet. And then we've got ourselves a nice big front coat closet with some built-ins. We put in decorative pieces. Big closet. And there's plenty more closets too, so. Very nice as far as that goes. Let's wrap up this side of the main level before we go show the other. So here's that pantry off the kitchen I was talking about. And it has a little motion sensor light that comes on. So nice to have, not that you really needed more kitchen storage, but you have more here. And then if you remember the front porch, this was the second door off the front porch. So it comes into a little mud room. Got a bench space here if people are taking on or off their boots or shoes. We've got laundry with your washer and dryer. These will stay with the property. And a little sink basin. We've got another huge coat closet. Very nice. And then we have the door to the two car garage. Here's this one. People that watch my videos know I'm a sucker for garages with windows. <laughs> so this is nice because it just makes you feel a little more airy and bright. Then you've got some storage racks up here as well. And then the one car garage is on the opposite side of the main level, so I'll show that. Obviously the stairs to the downstairs, we'll go take that in a little bit. There's a lot of house to show here, so I wanna make sure we do it all justice. On the far side, we have more of a private office with the uh, tall glass French doors. Obviously we have carpet in here. It might be hard to notice, but you know, the, the, the ceiling height, you can kind of tell with these windows or these doors is uh, very tall. I guess it's at least 10 feet. So I'm six feet tall and feel small relative to the ceiling height. We've got our other garage stall as well. And then right over here, we have our guest bath on the main level. So we have our sink toilet. Now let's go upstairs and take a look at the upper level. Upstairs we have carpet. And as we come up, I'll just kind of put everything into orientation. We have master bedroom right here behind French doors. We've got the in-law suite. Got the beautiful loft space right here. Shared bathroom, bedroom three, bedroom four. So let's go ahead and look at the master first. You see very large room. We've got the uh, design in the ceiling over here, which is quite nice. Adds a little bit of additional character. You can see here too, you've got views of, views of the prairie. And then there's kind of a shot of the park. Got the master bath and walk-in closet. So over here is the closet, and this is very deep. This goes back quite a ways, as you can see. And then here is the bathroom, beautiful bathroom. So we've got our dual sinks, huge mirror, Nice soaking tub. 
We've got our toilet behind the door for a little additional privacy. Shower with a nice tile and flooring. And then a linen closet for additional storage. So that's the master. Very nice and all behind these double French doors for a little more of a grand feel. Let's take a look at this loft space right here. It's nice to have a loft space of any sort, but this one is actually quite large. Good space for a TV over there. And this is pretty cool too, so you can get the aerial views from up here, what it looks like looking down to the lower level. These big windows. It's just very connected, open home. Right here, a little closet for some additional storage. And down here we have the in-law suite. So it's almost like a second master bedroom, honestly. And you'll notice too, the nice ceiling vaults adds for additional character. So large room. Give a couple of angles. Some fan above. And then down this way, we have our walk-in closet. And we have our own private bathroom. So here's the sink vanity, toilet, a nice big stand-up shower. And again, these views as you walk through the house are just, just beautiful, simply put. So heading down this way, we still have two more bedrooms and a bathroom. We'll show the bedrooms here first. So here's the first room. This one faces off the back of the home, so it has views of the prairie and the park. Nice big double door closet. And then here is the next bedroom. This one faces off the front of the home. And the cool thing about this bedroom is it's connected to this other bathroom up here. Another comparable double door closet over there. Use that to the loft. And then here is the shared bathroom. So, dual sinks. Love this flooring. Large mirror. Obviously, the toilet. Then we have our tub shower. And yes, there is a little linen closet here, but pretty nice that another bedroom is connected to the bathroom. So that's three of the upstairs bedrooms are all connected to a bathroom, which is really nice. So that's the upper level. But yes, there is still more. We have a finished basement as well. In the basement, it's got another bedroom, has another bathroom, has a large family room, has a media room and a dry bar. So let's head on down and take a look. Coming down, we'll get straight to the main family room area. So we've got the recessed lighting. It is a walkout level, so it feels very bright. It's not like a dark basement by any means. Look at this beautiful bar down here. I love these wood countertops. Nice stonework, white cabinets, huge fridge. See the cabinets continue. 
We've got a wine rack right here. So if you're entertaining and having people over, it's just great. Got the lighting up there too. Over on the far side, we have an electric fireplace. Just kind of showing all the angles. All right, now over here is a media room. So the equipment, as far as the speakers and the projector, those will all be going. But you do have the speakers that are in the walls and in the ceiling still, so you could definitely go ahead and set up your own setup down here. And we've got the elevated uh, speaker seating here too. The couches can stay if requested. This is not usually the angle that you're looking at in the media room. You're usually looking at the wall behind me or the projector. Will push out too, but yeah, really nice. And then they have, um, it's wired to go back here behind the under stairs storage, if you will. So a little bit of additional storage there. And we'll just show the outside real quick. So being a walkout, comes out, there's your wetland barrier. You can hear the birds. So not a huge yard to upkeep, which is pretty nice maintenance wise. You got some evergreens out here for some additional privacy. Kind of wraps right around there. All right, but there's still a little bit more to show inside the house. So over this way, we have our guest bath. There's your sink vanity, toilet, stand up shower. Nice flooring. Over here, we have our mechanicals. So water heater, furnace AC, water softener. And plenty of room for storage. And then we have our fifth bedroom over here as well which can be used as a guest room, could be used as another office. You can kind of use it however you'd like it to be. Pretty big closet here. Goes back quite a ways. All right, well that concludes the tour of this property. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. Thanks for watching our video tour. If you're interested in applying for the property, check out the video up here to see how to do our online rental application process. If it wasn't quite what you were looking for, you can browse our other active listings over here as well to see what else we have on the market. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified with any new content. Thanks so much and have a great day.